Welcome to another video on my channel. Today, I'll show you how to create high quality PBR materials using only a picture taken on a smartphone. While Adobe Substance Sampler is an excellent tool for generating PBR materials from photos, we will not be using it due to the high subscription cost. We are going to use a free but powerful alternative called Materialize, which can be downloaded from boundingboxsoftware.com. Once you have downloaded the zip file, simply extract it and start the executable. However, before we can start creating a texture, we must first prepare the image. I'm going to use GIMP, but you can use whatever image editing software you like. Make sure that the image is evenly lit and that no areas stand out significantly. Afterwards, crop your image to a 1x1 one one aspect ratio and export it as a PNG or JPEG. Once you unmaterialize, navigate to the box that reads the fuse map and click on the O to open the image you've just edited. As you can see, we haven't yet generated any PBR materials, so the image appears flat. First, navigate to the box that reads height map and click on create. Configure the settings so that areas you want extruded are white and areas you want intruded are black. When you are finished, click on Set as Height Map. Next, we'll make a normal map. In order to do this, navigate to the box titled Normal Map and click the Create button. Then, adjust the settings for the desired level of detail and click Set as Normal Map. After that, we will generate a smoothness map. Navigate to the box reading smoothness and click on create. Here, dark areas represent non-reflectivity and bright areas are more reflective. When you're finished, click on set as smoothness. Up next, we will make a metalness map, where the bright parts are more reflective than the dark parts. Again, click on set as metallic when you're done. Finally, we will create an ambient occlusion map. The darker regions are where there are smaller amounts of light. Now that we've created all of the necessary PBR maps, the image appears realistic and lifelike. Now we will tile the image to avoid obvious seams when repeating the texture. For that, click on Tile Maps and set the texture tiling to something like 2 or 4. Then adjust the overlap sliders as well as the edge fall off slider until the seams are no longer noticeable and click on set maps. If you want to export your textures, go to the saving options box and choose PNG or JPEG. Then click Save Project, select a location for the files and give them a name before clicking Select. You've now exported your textures. I will also show you how you can use your textures inside of Blender. After opening Blender, I will create a plane to apply the textures to. Next, navigate to the icon in the upper left corner and select Shader Editor. Here, we will click on New to create a new texture. Next, you can press Ctrl, Shift and T to do a principled texture setup. Do note that you need the free Node Wrangler add-on, which comes shipped with Blender. Here, we run into a slight problem. Because we have created a smoothness map and Blender uses a roughness map, it will look weird. 
So we have to edit our smoothness map into a roughness map. For that, open the smoothness map in your image editing software and invert the colors. Back in Blender, press Ctrl, Shift and T with the Prince applied BSDF selected and highlight the roughness, normal, metallic, height, diffuse and ambient occlusion maps. Then click on Prince applied texture setup. This will automatically connect the textures with their corresponding slots. We will need to add a mix node and set it to color for the ambient occlusion map to work. Plug the AO map into A and the base color into B before plugging the result into the base color of the Principlight BSDF. Then switch back to the viewport and set the rendering engine to cycles. Thank you for watching, all of the links will be in the description and with that have a nice day.